Hey guys, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> welcome to Life with 18 Cats. I'm Kim. For anybody that's new here, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, we are just going to wing it today. We're going to have some fun. I know Cam's already checked in, said, I got my steno pad ready. I knew you would. I knew you would. I knew I could count on you. Thank you so much. Um, as you can see behind me, listen, we're going to do, listen, I don't have StreamYard or anything, so my, my uh, camera's not mirrored. So when I think I'm moving one, I'm actually moving the opposite way. So if I move this way, okay, got it. All right. So as you can see behind me, we have some items to play with today. Yay. Like I promised. Um, we've got obviously my broom because I have not done my normal stuff today. I have not. I have not swept the living room. It's actually not that bad, but I haven't swept the living room. I haven't mopped the living room. I actually... Purposely put off doing that because I wanted to show you guys the spin mop because, listen, I know some of you guys got the spin mop and it's no big deal, but it's so much fun to me and I wanted to share it with you guys and just kind of, you know, do some things, fun things. I don't know, do whatever I want because, you know, we're solo today. We're just on our own. So, um, like I said, so I have my broom. I have my vacuum, which is not just this piece. It is this piece. Now, I'm going to give you guys some time. If anybody, I'm going to tip this down a little bit. So sorry if the audio cuts out a little bit, but I'm going to tip this down just a little bit. If anybody recognizes what this vacuum is, I'm going to give you guys some time to jump in here and say what you think it is. Jay-Z, you need to stop stepping in things and slipping on things. Yes, Catitude. Good job, Catitude, for the win. <laughs> Catitude guessed it right away. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, and then I have my spin mop. Um, I'm going to explain the vacuum to you guys. For those of you guys that don't know what it is, Catitude guess it. It is called a rainbow vacuum. It is an awesome vacuum and we will get into that, but I wanted to just see if anybody knew what it was. Cause I don't know many people personally in my life that knows what it is. Good job, Catitude. <laughs> I, I figured somebody in here would get it, but I wasn't sure how many, um, I actually, I know one person, literally one person in my personal life that actually has one and has had it for years and loves it. So we'll get into that. But yeah, so I have all my items for today. My mother-in-law loves her rainbow bag. Okay, Cam knows what it is too. All right. Yay. Um, yeah, and actually the funny thing is, is that the one person I know that has one, they actually, it's their... I think their mom that had it and then they end up getting it from them. So they're actually using it second generation. And so the fact that it's lasted that long to go get passed down to somebody is phenomenal. It makes me feel so, so much better about how much it costed. <laughs> but like I said, we'll get into that. Let's see who's checking in in chat guys. So we've got Kat checking in saying, I'm going to be on the floor stretching for a bit, watching and listening. Good job, girl. Good job. Get it. Deborah. Hello, lovely people. Hello, Deborah. Um, of course, Jay-Z coming in here, just making a scene. Smash the like button. Thank you, Jay-Z. I <laughs> uh, hope everyone and their fur babies are doing well. My internet lags. Cam, I'm sorry. You know what? And I'm doing this, like I said, solo today. And my, um, I'm not, I don't have my, if my, and you guys need to let me know. If my internet starts like really lagging or really skipping out a lot, let me know. Because I can't tell from this end. Because if it does do that, I will grab the cord and I will plug it directly into the internet instead of working on the Wi-Fi. So and if you hear the door slamming a little bit, like you just did, that's because it's actually really super nice outside today. So I've got all the windows open, but it is really breezy. So it's causing my, uh, causing my, the doors that go between the front side of the house and the back side of the house. It's causing one of them to just kind of go back and forth on the wall. So that's what you might hear in the background. Jay-Z, no, no Jenna today. Jenna has got some personal things going on today that she's uh, she's enjoying some time with family. So, um, so yeah, so Jenna is taking care of that, taking the day off, enjoying some time that she desperately needs. And so we are we are doing this solo today. Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Cam says, my mother-in-law loves a rainbow vac. That's right. Um, I'm 59, so I remember when they had salespeople selling the rainbows door to door. Okay, so Cam, that's interesting to know. I will tell you how I got my rainbow back. I actually went to the county fair here in town and there was a booth there where if you agreed to have someone come and do an in-home demonstration, you got a mini rainbow um, air purifier. So I was like, well, heck, and you got it free. So I'm like, well, heck, I'll do that. 
So when they came over with the vac and I got my free air purifier, um, I was so impressed with the vacuum. And again, we'll get into this. I'll, I'll explain to you guys why it's such an incredible thing. Um, I'm just reading one of the chats from one. So I tune in and I was unsubscribed from my membership is gone, even though it's supposed to be good till Tuesday, YouTube needs to be do better. You're right. You know what? I'm so sorry that happened. I'm sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. That's so sad. I'm so mad at them. Whatever. Um, okay. So yeah, like I was saying, um, I was so impressed with the vacuum that after they did the demonstration stuff, I went ahead and I, I, uh, they gave me a really good deal though. And so I bought it and I have been very, very happy with it. Um, I guess that my only complaint, I'm going to tell you, my only complaint about this vacuum so far has just been, and it's, you know what, listen, I can't complain about the vacuum itself because I don't think vacuums aren't designed to be taking care of households that have this many cats and this much cat hair. So the, the, the little head of that, this, this head piece of the vacuum um, tends to get clogged a little bit more often than a normal vacuum. But again, it's got a lot of power. It does a lot of things. It's got a lot of features, it's got a lot of attachments. I'm gonna show you one of those attachments, but I'll explain to you, you know, kind of the attachments that it has and what kind of capabilities it has as we go along. But yeah, so we're gonna do some cleaning around here. So I will put you guys on the floor so that you guys can see actually what you know what I'm doing or whatever here in a few minutes. But um, yeah, for right now, um, let's see. I'm gonna think it's my internet. Nanya says I'm gonna think it's my internet because I'm having issues too. Okay, like I said, guys, um if you guys notice that mine's lagging or it's skipping or it's freezing up at all, you got to let me know. Cause like I said, I can't tell on this end and I will for sure get the cord and I will try to plug it in and see if that fixes things. So let's see, Cam, remind me, we are going to do the vacuum, the spin mop and the Marcel firefighter story for the people that have not heard that story yet. Okay. So let's start with that. Let's start with it. Actually, no, I take that back. I got one important piece of business that I want to take care of real quick. I want to, just in case, I know she's probably not watching right now, but in case she watches this later on, I just want to say happy 30th birthday to my daughter. You are a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful woman, and I love you very much. And I'm so proud of you for everything you've accomplished and everything you've done. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and many, many, many more wonderful birthdays to come. So... Love you with all my heart. Okay, so <laughs> now that that's out of the way, I just want to make sure I said that just in case, you know, because I should probably watch at some point. And I just want to make sure I just gave her that personal happy birthday. So, um, hi, princess. That's my coffee. You don't need coffee. No, you don't. I did remember. Thank you so much, Cam. And thank you guys for all the, all the birthday wishes you guys have jumped in and commented with for my daughter. I really appreciate that. You guys are awesome. That means a lot to me. So thank you. Um, <clears throat> Okay. Yes, I did remember, Cam. I'm so proud of myself. I think it's because we went over it so many times yesterday. So those of you that weren't in the member stream yesterday, we were coming up with things to do today. And I was like, I didn't have a piece of paper on me. Jenna wasn't going to be here to remind me. So Jenna actually put Cam in charge of, <laughs> of remembering what we were going to do today. So <laughs> I see Mary Miles just joined us. Hi, Mary. How are you doing? <laughs> Deborah, happy, happy birthday. Thank you so much, Deborah. That means so much to me. I really, really, you guys, you guys, you guys jumping in and just showing some love for my daughter. And back when my son had his birthday in October, you guys jumped in and you guys were so nice and so loving. And I just appreciate it. Thank you, Nanya, for that. I appreciate it. You guys are phenomenal. I just love it. And just so you guys know, I am looking at the stats right now. And right now we have, we know we have 11 people in here. We also have 11 likes. You guys rock. That means every single person that has jumped in here has hit the like button. So thank you guys. No, Oswald, you can't go on my shoulders right now. Okay. You want to be on my shoulders while we tell the, the um, Marcel story? Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Marcel, Mar not Marcel. Oswald wants to be on my shoulders while we tell the Marcel story. So we're going to do that. Um, Cam says, my daughter's birthday is October. My son will be 29. Oh my gosh. Listen, can you believe that we, ha we have kids that old? I mean, I mean, I'm sure she's having... She I'm sure she's having some adjustment period to the whole 30 thing, but I didn't realize that her turning 30 was going to be such, such an emotional thing for me. Cause I'm just like, Holy cow. I have a 30 year old child. Okay. Oswald, your tail, honey. Um, I have a 30 year old child. That's crazy to me that my daughter is 30 and my son is going to be 24 this year. 
oh god time flies so fast once you get out of like out of like your 20s it goes so fast now i feel ancient lord my 60 you're coming up on your 60th cam holy cow good job and you know what i don't know how recent your photo is but if that is like a recent you look phenomenal woman you really do you look so phenomenal Good job for you, man. I would have never guessed that by your profile picture. Never, 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 never. So, all right, the Marcel story. Okay, guys. So for those of you that have not heard the Marcel story, here's what happened. That dude, that picture's nine years old. Seriously? Okay, even though, even, even nine years ago, that means that you were, what, 51 in that picture? I wouldn't have guessed that. I'm 63. Oh, goodness, girl. <laughs> I'll do a more recent one. Listen, I bet you look phenomenal because if you look that good at 51, I'm sure that has not changed much for you. You are one of those people that ages very well. So good good on you. Um, okay, Marcel's story. All right, so I moved down here to Missouri from Minnesota back in September. It was actually September 4th. I remember the date. It was September 4th of 2021. All right, so let's go back. So now I have a 26 foot U-Haul truck and a car trailer and I have my car in the car trailer and all my belongings in that 26 foot U-Haul. Now, this is what I had to do because when you have, when you're moving 17 cats and I apologize for all the times I've said 16 because I had 17 when I moved down here. So when you have 17 cats and you have to transport them, your options are pretty pretty limited when it comes to transporting them. I was not going to stick them all in the back end of the U-Haul because that would have been no light, no oxygen source, no warmth, no cool, no nothing. And I wasn't doing that to them. So what we ended up doing was we actually ended up double, um, like double, how do, I, how do I put this? So when you put a car in a car trailer, you'd like chain it to the, to the trailer. We didn't just chain it. We chained it we also used um, ratchet straps and a couple other things. My ex-husband actually, Jake's dad, helped me. Um, he actually helped me move. Um, he helped he helped me load up my storage locker and everything, get it all put into the trailer, everything organized. And he helped me with getting the cats and moved out of the hotel. He was absolutely just a, an angel on earth for helping me with everything I needed help with. So I didn't have to do it by myself. So now I put this. I put six cats in the front of the truck with me. And that was like um, uh, Marcel, Feline, um, Bagheera, oh, come on, let go, um, Polly, just the, the ones that were not going to do well stuck in the car. So six of them were in the cab with me, and the other 11 were in the car. And what I did with the car was I just barely cracked the windows, and I covered the windows with this um, this frost stuff so that they couldn't really see outside, so they didn't get um, visually like overloaded. Come on, Oswald, come on, you gotta jump down, come on. Okay, you're falling, honey. Hang on, guys. Out, jump down, jump down, Oswald. Out, jump down. Oh, careful, careful, baby, you got go stuck. Okay, let go, okay, there we go. Okay, sorry, guys. Okay, so, um, so that's what we did, and what I did was, now you gotta understand that from where I was in Minnesota to where I was getting to in Missouri was an eight hour trip. It took us almost, I think it was right around 15 or 16 hours to make that drive. And I'll tell you why. Because with the cats in the car, I was like, okay, I am going to stop every like two hours, hang out, get out of the truck, go back to the car, hang out with the cats, keep them calm, keep them relaxed. So I didn't like the idea of them being back there too long by themselves. So yes, this is all relevant to what happened once we got down here with Marcel, because this is the trip I had. So it was like, 15, 16 hour trip down here. I was exhausted. By the time we got down here and whatever, I was so exhausted. I was so wiped out from this long, long drive and all of the, just the stress of all the cats and everything else and keeping everybody calm. So we get down here on the fourth. It's, it's, it's evening time. And now I got to get everybody in the house. So I get, what I did was I brought Bagheera in first and I let him be in here for about an hour to check out the house by himself because of the, you know, the problems with Bagheera, Oswald and Mittens. I was like, if I let Bagheera come in here first and claim the territory for himself, then by the time I bring everybody else in, um, then maybe everybody else will kind of accept that Bagheera was here first and maybe things will, you know, ease up a little bit. 
it, that worked for a couple of days. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. So, um, so we get in the house and it was probably about, I think our meeting time with the realtor was like four was when I met him at the house to get the keys and everything and get, start moving in. By the time I get all the cats in and everything that I needed out of the truck in here and settled just for that night, because obviously I wasn't going to unload the whole truck by myself that night. Um, by the time I got it, it was like nine o'clock at night and I was so wiped out exhausted, but I had a friend down here who had been running the office down here at the, our job until I got down here. He had come over to help me get some things, you know, organized by when I first got down here. Well, Marcel, if for anybody that doesn't know, Marcel is skittish around people he doesn't know at first. So because Aaron was here and he was, he could hear him. Marcel instantly went into wanting to hide. I had only come down here and seen this house one time for about 10 minutes. And that was when I came down to look at houses and see which one I wanted and then, you know, decide. So I knew nothing about any kind of like cubby holes, attic spaces, nothing. I knew nothing about that stuff. But by the time I went to bed, I realized I couldn't find Marcel. And I was like, okay, he's hiding. Cool. I'm laying here. Because that night, the first night, I just I just put up an air mattress here in the living room, and I just laid out here. I could hear him meowing from somewhere, but I couldn't figure out where he was. Couldn't find him. I searched the whole house until I realized that there was three attic doors. Three attic doors upstairs. And I'm like, oh, no. So now I open one of those attic doors because I noticed it was, it was like, it was open just a little bit. And so I, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. So I kind of pe peek my head in there. I'm like, Marcel, I could hear him. I could hear him, but I couldn't find him. So now it's nighttime. It's late. And I'm like, okay, he'll come out on his own. If he got in there, he'll come out on his own. So I didn't get very much sleep that night. Now, remember, remember the trip I just took with all these cats. I had not had any rest or nothing. I, th I think I might have caught like maybe three hours of sleep over the course of the night because I could continuously hear him crying. And I didn't know where he was. I also knew there was nothing I could do about it until morning. So morning comes, I can still hear him meowing. I'm panicked by now. And again, I'm going on three hours of sleep, maybe. When I say I look like death warmed over, that's probably, I'm probably being generous. <laughs> I looked like it was awful. Okay, awful. Guys, just picture awful in your head and then multiply it by 100. Because after everything I'd been through, now, mind you, I hadn't even been down here in Missouri and in this house for 24 hours yet. Um, YouTube issue, because it was happening last night, too. Okay, so there is a little bit of lag, but only for a couple of you guys. You got hacked during yesterday's live? What? Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. Stop, guys. Stop. Hang on. Hang on. Um, I'm so interested in what you guys are saying. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so now I've been down here in this new house for less than 24 hours. Hi, Cammy. I remembered Cam, Cammy. Cammy just came in. So hi, Cammy. <laughs> um, so now here we go. Um, okay, Wanda, you know what? Listen, okay, all right, I gotta back up because Wanda brings up a good point. So when I left the hotel. Like I said, my ex-husband had been helping me. We were in a mad dash to get everything, all the cats out of there, whatever. I got 10 miles from the hotel, looked around the cab of the truck and realized Pony wasn't in there. What? So in our haste, she had gotten underneath the hotel bed and neither of us knew it and was hiding. So she almost got left behind. So I called the hotel. I had to drive 10 miles back to the hotel, get Feline out from underneath the bed. So yes, wanted to thank you for bringing that up. Thank you for bringing that up. Anyways. So, um, so now morning comes, I call the police department and I'm like, Hey, I just moved here yesterday. I have a cat in my house that has gotten stuck on a wall somewhere and I don't know who to call to help. Do we have animal control down here? Cause here's me. I have no clue about anything in Missouri yet. Nothing. Turns out in Missouri, the fire department literally is who you call to get a cat out of the tree because they handle that kind of stuff. I'm like, seriously, I call the fire department? They're like, yeah, call the fire department. They're the ones that would handle a situation like this. I'm like, okay. So I call the fire department. Now the fire department goes, yeah, we'll be right there. What's your address? So I give them the address. They show up 
not in the fire chief's little truck that was is all that's required because it's just a cat stuck in a wall. They show up with the full-on hook and ladder in, in front of my house. And I'm like, oh, the neighbors are going to be just looking at this going, that girl just moved in. Why is the fire department over there? Wow. So, <laughs> so now here's the thing. Remember what I said? I've got three hours of sleep. I'm panicked. I'm in tears. I'm sobbing. I'm like literally like ugly snot crying. Somebody knocks on my door. <laughs> And I open the door to three firemen that literally just stepped out of the fireman's calendar. I'm not joking you. They could have been Chippendale dancers. And I just looked up a little bit. And I was like, why do you hate me? <laughs> I was so, I'm not kidding you. I was ugly. Listen, I was so bad. And here I'm faced with these three just dropped at gorgeous fireman. And I'm like, got to be kidding me. Why did somebody hate me up there? This is not fair. Oh, it was horrible. So they come in <laughs> and they're like, okay, so where do you think he went in? I'm like, I don't know. I just got here yesterday. I haven't even been here for 24 hours yet. And so I'm bawling my head off. These guys are looking at me like, uh-huh. All right. Crazy cat lady. That's great. So when I tell you that Law enforcement and everybody around here knows about my cats and how many I have. They've literally known since the day I moved here because I had to have the fire department show up. So they come in. Actually, two of them come in because I, I warned them all because I always do this. If somebody new comes to my house, like fire department, uh, an officer, anybody, I'm always the first thing I ask them before I let them in is, are you allergic to cats? Because, you know, whatever, I'm not going to let somebody in. They have firemen that look like me. Wow. Hey, you know what, Jay-Z? Could be. Could be. If you look like a Chippendales dancer, then yes, three of you were at my door. Um, but I'm not going to let somebody come in my house if they have a, an allergy to cats, even if it's a mild one, because even a mild one, when you walk into my house, could turn into a bad problem. So I warned them, and the one guy says, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit allergic to cats. And I said, okay, then please do not come in here. I don't want to be responsible for that. So he hung out outside and was just bringing them equipment. Equipment, guys. Equipment. One of them goes, hey, can you go grab the FLIR? I know what a FLIR is. I watch Ghost Adventures. They brought in the thermal imaging camera and started going through my house looking for my cat in the walls. <laughs> so, yes, the fire department shows up and they had to use thermal imaging to locate where he was behind the walls. It turns out he had gotten into the attic to hide. But because of his size and weight, there was a weak spot. And he fell through the weak spot behind a wall where he couldn't get out. Oh, my Lord. And again, we are still, Kim hasn't even been here for 24 hours yet. So now we have to take and we have to punch a hole in the wall, a two foot by two foot hole in the wall right where he's at. And you think he'd come out? No, these are strangers. He's terrified. So we had to just leave the hole in the wall. I had to get a live trap and set it up in front of the hole so that none of the other cats went in the hole. Two days, guys. Two days it took for him to finally come out. Meanwhile, me and the fire department had gone through the, all the access panels for the, for the attic, and we literally, like, nailed them shut all over the place. So, I mean, like, if I needed to get in the attic, it would take me a, probably an hour to get in the attic because we'd have to... It was insane. So that was my first 24 hours down here. And that's what happened with Marcel. And yes, because of his weight, he literally fell through into a void in the wall and got stuck. And we had to punch a two foot by two foot hole in my brand new house. I mean, the house wasn't brand new, but it was brand new to me. So that's the first thing we had to do when I moved down here within 24 hours, we had to punch a hole in the wall. So that's the Marcel and the fireman story. And it was awful. And I just was like, this is insane. <laughs> And the firemen, before they left, they were like, so you just moved here. You just got here yesterday. I said, yeah, you see the U-Haul? I haven't even packed yet. He looked, The fireman looks at me and goes, welcome to Missouri. And they walked away. And I'm like, great. <laughs> nice meeting you guys. So there. Now you guys, for those of you that hadn't heard the story before, now you guys have heard the story of what happened with Marcel when I first moved down here. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that has not happened since. So yes, it was terrifying, guys. It was. It was so terrifying. But yes, Cam, only the best to save Marcel. Yes. 
<laughs> I am not with Wanda. I am not fat shaming. I'm just saying that he is a bigger cat. He is. He's stacked. He's got stacks on stacks. Come on, Mel. I didn't say he was fat. You said he was fat. I just said he was big. He's heavy. That muscle is heavier than fat, right? So I'm just saying he's very muscular, Wanda. <laughs> so there, there's my story about Marcel. Yeah, he's just the right. He's just the right amount of cat. He is. He's not. He's not fat. He's big furred. How about that, <laughs> Marcel and cinnamon rolls, guys. <laughs> Listen, I knew this was gonna be fun today, and I love you guys so much. This is so this is already just on such a blast. I am just having so much fun already. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna explain to you the rainbow vac. All right. I'm not sales pitching here. I'm not, because I I'm I'm just I'm just telling you that first of all, I'm gonna start this out by saying this vacuum is $2,500. I bought this when I first moved down here when I could when I when I had the money to actually buy it, thank God. Um, but it was twenty five hundred dollars. Now let me explain to you why I could justify spending that much money on a vacuum cleaner. Because it is not just a vacuum cleaner. It is an it's a dehumidifier, it's a humidifier, it's a vacuum cleaner, it is a floor mop. It is also a carpet cleaner. So the reason I could justify that is because I sat down and went, all right, if I bought a high-end vacuum, a high-end humidifier, a high-end dehumidifier, a high-end floor cleaner, and a high-end carpet cleaner, what would it cost me? A lot more than $2,500 in the end. So I was like, all right, since this thing does all, oh, yeah, it's an air purifier too. Sorry, it's an air purifier too. And they sell little scenty things that you can put in there and it would, um, it'll, it'll make your whole house. Oh my God. It, it literally makes your whole house instantly smell so nice. Kim is really hustling for a sponsor. Stop that. I'm not, I'm not, like I said, you guys listen, <laughs> listen, if I believe in something, I will give you my opinion. If I, if you don't hear me like pitching something, it's because it's not that great of a product and I'm not that big of a fan. So if you hear me saying something about something, it's because I have used it. I use it in my house. And here's the thing. When you have a multiple cat household, you're always looking for something that's going to help make your life easier. Right. Am I right, guys? Come on. I know I am. So if I find something that makes my life easier, I figure, hey, I'm going to share this with my community because I want my community's life to be better. And then he says, oh, my God, I had a similar wall scare in a basement, but I was a renter and would need to get owner OK to open up the wall. Thank God it turned out he was just stuck behind the boiler and water heater. Oh, yeah. So um, one more piece to that. So when I moved down here, there was a piece of paper in our paperwork that had gotten that was done wrong. So they were going to postpone. So I was supposed to sign my paperwork and take take possession of the house. I mean, like, actually, no, I should, I was supposed to sign on the house, um, on the, on the fifth, what happened was a piece of paper was done wrong and it got postponed to the 23rd. However, my job required me to be down here already. So my realtor, bless his heart. Um, my realtor worked it out with the previous owner that I would take possession of the house on the fourth, but not sign for the house until the 23rd which is insane that he managed that, but he did. So when this happened, I hadn't signed for the house yet. The previous owner had just entrusted me with the house until I signed on the 23rd. So having to punch that two, two foot by two foot hole in the wall, I just had to pray that the previous owner didn't stop by just to check on things or to say hi or anything and see a hole in the wall before I even signed for the house. So I understand what you're saying. And yeah, it was, it was, I was like, please don't let this person come by here. I really hope that they don't come by here. And I didn't tell my realtor because I didn't want him to have to lie to anybody or keep a secret. So I was like, we're just going to cross our fingers until the 23rd. Thank God. Nobody knew. I told my realtor like long after this happened, he's like, I'm really glad you didn't tell me at the time. Cause I would have, I would have had a really big problem with that. I'm like, I know that's why I didn't say anything. So anyways, back to the rainbow. Okay. So. Like I said, this thing does a bunch of things. I know some of you guys know what it is, but I'm going to show some of you guys that don't know what it is, how this works. So 
and forgive me because I use this constantly. So it's not, I mean, it's obviously been used. This is the container. So usually vacuums have the little, um, what do you call them? The, the little place where all the dust and all the, all the dirt goes when it sucks it up. So instead of that, it's got this, which as you can see has water in it. Okay. So it's clean water because I just filled it. And this goes down here. And then this attaches down like that. Okay. You with me so far, guys? All right. Now, it's also on wheels, so it moves really easily. When you're using this, what happens is all the dust and dirt and debris gets sucked into that water reservoir. Why is this cool? Because there's no dust. Everything's getting sucked into that water tank. And it kind of, yeah, I mean, of course it turns sludgy, but you dump it down the toilet when you're done and you're ready to like, change the water. Um, so, yeah, it's it's super cool because you don't have any dust. You don't have any, like, when you, uh, let's see. When you, you know how when you dump, when you dump out the, the, the container from the, the vacuum, all that dust flies out when you dump it into a bag? Yeah, you don't have that. Oh, Carly's here. Hi, Carly. How you doing, hon? God bless Marcel. Got stuck. Bless him, but glad he's okay. I know, me too. Um, but you don't have all that dust being kicked up and thrown around because there's nothing worse than here you go, you vacuum your house. Now you got to empty the vacuum and now all the dust goes everywhere and you're like, well, now I got to clean that up. You don't have that with this because it's water. It's all going into that water tank. So it's nice to not have all that stuff flying around when you're vacuuming. So that's number one. Number two, I'm going to show you this. So here's the main, the main vacuum piece. That's this. And it's really super light, as you guys can see, super light. This literally, I'm going to show you how easy this goes on, okay? It literally just goes like that. And now you can't see that. Listen, I'm trying, guys. It literally just goes, it goes on, off, like that, okay? Now, it's got this headpiece for doing just regular floors. And I'm talking about, like, carpet floors. So I probably won't use this particular piece much anymore now that I've gotten rid of all the carpet. But I will use it upstairs because I still have carpeting up there. When you want to change out the head, it's super simple. I know you can't see this, but I'm going to do this up here so you can see it. Okay. So there's a little lap lever right here. You literally just step on that and pull this out. All right. And the reason I did that is because I'm actually going to plug this in and show you guys one of these attachments. This is my favorite attachment. It's the one with the little bristles on the end. Because what I do with this is I do my ceiling fan and the vents. So I'm going to tip you guys up a little bit so you guys can see the ceiling fan. Vanna White, stop it, you guys. You guys are silly now. Okay, I'm trying to do this. All right, don't fall. Don't fall. All right, I'm going to plug this in quick so you guys can see. And you guys can hear, you know, and I will say there's one thing. It's got different settings, too. You can actually set it so that it's, like, high, low, medium, whatever. Plug this in. Grab this. So. I know you guys can hear that. But literally. And like I said, everything it sucks up goes into that water tank and it's not flying all over your house or getting thrown around your house after um after you like empty it into a into a garbage bag. So yeah, so that's my rainbow bag. The other cool thing about this is that if I take this piece off and I just turn it on, so I've got it on the lowest setting right now. And all it's doing is it's sucking, right now it's sucking the moisture out of the air and putting it inside there. And every once in a while, and you can't even hear that now. That's the lowest setting. And right now it is actually sucking the air, the, the moisture out of my air and then blowing cool air out of the front. So it actually like, in a way, 
It actually acts a little bit like a little portable air conditioner too. It's so super cool. Listen, guys, it's so super cool. Um, the only problem, Cam, with doing the baseboards is I'm going to show you. Um, they're actually, I would rather use this piece to do the baseboards because if you look, that's solid metal and you're going to scratch up your baseboards if you don't have just at least this attachment on there. There's also a crevice tool. There is a squeegee. Like I said, there is a piece that you can actually buy later on that actually, um, that actually does carpet shampooing. But here's the cool thing is if you spill something on carpeting and you have to clean it and now it's wet, you can use this thing to suck up the water because it acts like a shop vac too. Shop vac, guys. It's like a shop vac. It's everything. And I'm not trying to sell you this because I don't even know how to sell it to you. So kitties need to rest, but the house has to be clean, I guess. Yeah, you know, it does. And the house has to be clean. Come on, guys. The house. Can you imagine if I just didn't clean the house for a whole, whole day? I don't even want to think about what that would look like. I really don't. Mm -mm. That's actually terrifying in my mind. So I'm going to put this away. Because we have now covered the we've now covered the, the vacuum. I just wanted to show you guys my vacuum because it's so uh, it's just like a unique vacuum. Hi, dude, bug. And now we're gonna move on to the spin mop, guys. Watch out! Watch out, baby. I know you don't like the vacuum here. Hey, you know maybe you guys can explain this to me. I've had the majority of my cats. I've had since since they were born almost. I mean, like within within weeks of them being born, the majority of them. Yet they are all terrified of the vacuum. I can personally tell you that nobody has ever been injured by a vacuum in my house, but they're like inherently terrified of the vacuum. But they're not afraid to try to jump on the, on the stove. They know it is hot when I'm cooking because they have jumped on it before and hurt their little beans, which is why I have a bean protector. But previously they would, I mean, they just learned, I don't get it. So yes, Joanna, to answer your question, they are. They're all scared of the vacuum, and I don't understand why. Loud noise. You think that's what it is? Maybe, I guess. Because I didn't think of it that way. But yeah, they're all scared of it. Cam, okay, I want one. Well, listen. I mean, I don't know how your husband's going to feel about $2,500. It's a sound, you think? Yeah, it probably is. You're probably right. You're probably right. Okay. Yeah, my cats, Listen. A couple of them, a couple of them are pretty good. Um, if I have it on the low setting, I can. Um, well, you ha you'd have too many cats in your house with my Wanda, knock it off. God damn it, Wanda! <laughs> you cracked me up. I'm so glad you're here. Um, but a couple of them, I can actually go up to them and kind of just very, very nicely um, get their tail, and they'll just be like, okay. If I do it slowly and carefully. They'll let me vacuum them a little bit, but only a couple passes. And then they're like, all right, that's enough. And they're out. So I want one as a present, Mary. <laughs> uh, are kitties hearing more sensitive than ours? You know, I would imagine so. I mean, because their sense of hearing, their sense of sight, their sense of smell, all that stuff is more keen than ours because they've had to rely on them, you know, a little bit more than we we do. We kind of gotten lazy with ours in evolution. But I would I would I would agree that's probably it. Yeah. I used to have shepherds that love to give back. Oh, really? Did you? Yeah, you know, my daughter actually has a, um, has a German shepherd. And uh, his name's Kovu. He's a cool dog. He's so, he's so awesome. And, uh, yeah, I, he was, I mean, he was always okay with it. Anyways, so, now I'm going to tip. I'm actually not, I'm not going to set you guys on the floor. I'm just going to tip this down a little bit so you guys can see. So, like I said, I have not swept today. And there's really not much to sweep because actually it's pretty good. There's like just a little bit. That's it. So I'm just going to get these big pieces up real quick so I'm not dragging them around with the mop. All right. So the spin mop, guys. The spin mop. Are you ready for this? For those of you that don't know how cool this is, here's the spin mop. It's so super cool. It, the handle has got an actual attachment, so you can snap this into the handle so it just sits there so it doesn't fall over like a lot of mops do. Just get that off there. Now, I just put hot water and my Mr. Clean pet. I, you're right. I should be a salesperson. I just put a, literally a splash of that in there. I did not put much in there. 
Take this out. You set it in here. And then literally you don't hold them or you don't hold on to the pole. You just like keep it from falling just like loosely because this thing spins that foam up to get the excess water out. I mean, how cool is that, you guys? And it's so nice because the fiber mop or the, the microfiber mop just glides across the floor so nicely and cleans things so good. I absolutely love this thing so much. I'm not going to do the whole floor because this isn't cleaning day. Well, not cleaning time. But yeah, and then when you're done, when you need more, one of the things that I do do is I actually let it get really wet and I scrub the floor and then I'll rinse it out. And then I will just do this a bunch of times. And I will get the mop head as close to dry as possible. And then I will just go over and I will get the excess water off the floor so that it dries a lot quicker. But yeah, that's the spin mop, guys. Like I said, that's one of the coolest things I've ever bought. I don't know why I, I spent two months like sitting here like debating on whether I wanted to get one or not. Oh my God, I love it so much. I'm so glad I bought it. Are you on X? John, I am not on. Okay, so I have an X account. We did actually try it and we started putting stuff on there a couple times. It's just not worth it. It's not, and I'm sorry, you guys, anybody that likes X, I apologize for this ahead of time. It's a personal opinion. To me, X is just a cesspool. It really is. The people on there, the trolls on there, the, just the things that take place on there is not where I want to go with my channel. It's not someplace I want my channel to be. It's just not. So sorry if anybody doesn't, if, if, I don't know, if you know, some people like X and that's fine. But for this particular channel, for what we're trying to do, it's just... Not some place I want to be. I barely listen. I, I have I have um I have TikTok, and I have Instagram, and I have the YouTube. And I have Facebook. Um, I'm I'm primarily primarily on YouTube. This is my main platform. This is where I like to be. Um, I have been doing a little bit more with TikTok lately, just because you know that's where a lot of eyes are. Uh, we'll see what happens with TikTok. Okay, so TikTok, listen. This is a controversial thing, the whole thing. I mean, I know you guys have probably heard about the whole TikTok, you know, possible ban coming up and everything, which, okay, so that's a double-edged thing. Now, I'm not, my opinion here is not based on free speech or non-free speech or anything like that. Um, TikTok kind of made it really hard for YouTube because the attention span thing, you know, people having these short form, short form videos, well, then YouTube follows, followed suit and created YouTube Shorts, and they're really pushing that. The problem that has that has come with that is that it's made it really hard for long-form YouTubers, like what I what we do. We have long-form videos, we have live streams, whatever, and because of TikTok and what it has, because of its niche, it ma it's made it really hard for YouTubers. So, as a YouTuber, it's like. The TikTok ban would actually would actually benefit all YouTubers hugely because it would listen, John, I'm with you. I hate it. I hate the fact that it's being pushed so incredibly much because YouTube doesn't push regular videos so much anymore. They're pushing shorts. Shorts bring in no revenue for YouTubers. So for those of us that are trying to make a living on YouTube, it sucks. So from a YouTuber standpoint, yes, a TikTok ban would actually benefit all of us and make our lives easier because we would no longer have that, that rivalry. But at the same time, I understand why a TikTok ban would probably set a really bad precedence for just, you know, in general, as far as just free speech, free, you know, free whatever, because it kind of is censoring and whatever. However, you know, there's arguments to be made for everything. Like I said, though, I mean, my, I'm not trying to get political. I'm just saying TikTok has made, has just is, is a great place for the shorts, but it also put YouTube in a position where they had to compete. And that put those of us that have long form content and are relying on that long form content 
in a really bad and a really difficult position. So yeah, I want to see a TikTok fan just because it would be, it would make life easier for YouTubers. But at the same time, I understand why it would set a bad precedent. So I just, it's, it's a difficult situation. It really is. Uh, yeah, you don't, and you're right, Catitude, you don't get very many, um, you rarely get notifications for shorts because they don't, they push them on the feed, on the main home feed and whatever, and they'll push them out to you on your, on your main feed if you're like subscribed to that channel, but they don't do really, they don't do really notifications and that sucks. So yeah, you don't get that. I actually prefer videos of an hour or more because I can listen to it while doing chores, etc. I'm with you, Wanda. I'm the same. I understand that people these days want want this, 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 and they want it right now. So the short form content is really, you know, has really done done well in the public now. But I'm with you. I love the longer videos. Like, for example, Jack Septiguy. I've talked about him many times. I know a lot of you know who he is. Um, he actually just did, he's been doing playthroughs of a couple of games that are really long games and he's done the entire game in one video. So it's the Dark Souls and, um, Dark Souls and, God, I can't think of the other one right now off the top of my head. I'm drawing a blank. Anyways, the Dark Souls game, it's like, it's like a seven hour game and he literally did the whole game in one video. So it's, it's after a couple edits in there, it's a six and a half hour game. And it's a six and a half hour video. So those are great to me. I love when people do things like that because I can just turn that on and I can have it as background noise while I'm doing this, that, and the other thing. It's great. I love it. I love being able to listen to that stuff. I don't like the fact that you really get notifications, right? It's saying exactly wanna. I can watch kitties on YouTube all day. I know, so can I actually. I love the long form content from people like you. I really also enjoy the live streams that you do. Well, thank you so much, Cami. I really appreciate that. That's really awesome to hear. I, I listen, and and it's really nice that you guys tell me that stuff because I don't. I I just try to guess most of the time. I'm like, okay, what can I do that everybody will enjoy? A lot of YouTubers are out there going, what can I do to get the most money possible? Here's my thing: is money important? Yes. At the end of the day, it is for everybody. However. That will come with time if you can build an audience with content that your audience enjoys. So it's like, that's the reward at the end of the road. I'm not trying to just scam people into do, into something so that I can just make a, a quick buck. I'm trying to make this a sustainable thing. And the only way I see to make this a sustainable long-term thing is to make sure that I'm always staying in contact with my community and I'm putting out content that they enjoy. So when you guys let me know things like that, that you enjoy the long form content and that you like the, the live streams, that helps me know that I'm doing the right thing right now. So yeah, so thank you guys. So anytime you guys, when I say you know, leave me a comment, I'm not trying to get engagement. I really genuinely need your feedback. I need you guys to let me know what you guys like, what you guys don't like so much. Seriously, if there's something in, a, in, in, in the videos or whatever, something that I'm putting out that you guys aren't really big fans of, let me know. Let me know. Cause I certainly do not want to put things out there that you guys don't like. However, just make sure that you, I'm going to make sure, you know, I want to know what you guys like, but I'm going to take that and I'm going to try to do it in a way that's still enjoyable for me. Cause, um, cause I mean, I have, at the end of the day, I have to enjoy what I'm doing for it to be any good for you guys. So yeah, I think it's because folks are so busy. All they have time for is a quick distraction. You're right, Ruby Don. That's exactly it. And that's, like I said, that's why TikTok has done so well. They literally found what people needed. And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. It's totally understandable. People just need a quick fix here and there for stuff. And they like the short form content. I'm not going to lie. I have literally sat here and started scrolling through TikTok. <laughs> and all of a sudden looked at the clock and realized that I've been doing it for an hour. And I'm like, oh, dang it. How do I do this to myself? <laughs> It's awful. You get stuck in this scrolling thing. And I'm just like, oh God. Um, oh, Cam, come on. Come on. Just please remember us when you hit 1 million subscribers. Listen, listen. You guys are ingrained in my brain, okay? You guys are literally ingrained in my brain. You guys have become like family to me. There is not a chance in this world that I would ever forget you guys. God, don't even think I would. No. Emmanuel, hi, how you doing? You jumped in here. I'm so happy to see you. 
Yay! More coffee, please. However, most binge on short form content. So perhaps it's more about shrinking attention spans. No, and you know what? You laugh, but it's totally true. And that's what I'm saying. I have caught myself seriously just caught in a scroll thing and realized that I've been doing it for an hour, just going, oh, I've been sitting here for an hour doing this. I need to get off the internet. And I have to take a break because I'm like, damn it, where did the time go? I am more in it for the community. And of course, because I love you. Also, I get a lot of info on longer videos, learning more instead of just a quick fix. And, and that's the thing. So that's the frustrating part about the TikTok thing is that there are people like you, Ruby Dawn, and a couple others that have jumped in and said this. The long form content are just not being pushed. It's not being pushed as much as it used to because of TikTok and what it represents and the rivalry between TikTok and YouTube and YouTube trying to push shorts now. So their big focus is shorts and they are, they keep rolling out new features for shorts and this and that and the other thing, cause they're really trying to push it. And I'm sitting here going, listen, I don't like shorts. You know why? I just, I'll put up the shorts because sometimes it is cute. Sometimes, and you guys have seen some of my shorts, Sometimes there is a quick little thing that happens. I'm like, it's not long enough for a video. So this is a cute short and I'll put them out. Is it sustainable as far as the YouTube channel is concerned? No, no, mm -mm. no, it's really not. Uh, you, Joanne, you've done the same thing. I'm assuming you're talking about scrolling through TikTok and losing track of time. I know it's awful. It just sucks you in and you just forget everything around you. It's horrible. I hate it. <laughs> I honestly look forward to your live streams and your videos, and I love this community on the live streams. The other day, you all made me smile, and it helped me so much. Oh, Cam, I'm so glad. That actually just that actually just makes my heart just melt to read that. That's so cool. And I love, listen, anybody, any guys that have been around here long enough know, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for me is like I have to push through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You know why? Because those are not live stream days. Live stream days are Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I live for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is weird because those are my, like, those are my work days. I can't wait to start work on Thursday and work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I mean, for real. So, and if you guys think that I just jump in here and do this like hour long stream or whatever, and then I'm done, that's not how it works. And I, I, I want you guys to know that. So that's why when I told you guys the other day that I'm putting out um, another cleaning video, like I did the other day, Another one like that. Um, Jen is actually working on it right now. Uh, it's like, well, it, it originally is 49 minutes long, but it kind of walks you through what I do before a live stream so that you guys can see what kind of process goes into what I'm doing for live stream. So that's a 49 minute video and it's not even everything. It's just, I, I realized it was 49 minutes long and I was like, okay, that's enough for now. That's that gets the point across. I enjoy long form content, but I've found my attention straying from them. And I'm a grown ass lady who needs to <laughs> this ASAP. more coffee, please. That's so funny. <laughs> On the shorts, I always look for your kitties. I recognize. Oh, that's so sweet of you. I love that. Keep doing what you're doing with your channel. Whatever makes you happy. It's such a genuine channel with the cats. Win win. It is. You know, like I've said before, I've told you guys this. And for those of you that are new and haven't heard me say this, listen. People have been telling me for about a year, year, two years, year and a half, two years before I put up that first video to, to do this. And I'm like, I'm not doing this. I'm not going on YouTube. I'm not a YouTube. I'm a 40, you know, at that time I was like, I'm a 46, 47 year old woman. I got, I got all these cats. Nobody cares about my cats in my life. I'm not doing that. But then when the job thing, the layoff happened and whatnot, I was like, you know what? Would it really hurt? Let's just do this. Cause I mean, it had been kind of like the seed had been planted. And I went, all right, let's just put up one video. Chances are it's not going to get any views. Nobody's going to care. And I'm not going to be any worse for the wear. So let's just give it a try just so everybody shuts up. So that very first video that I ever put up titled Life with 18 Cats, I didn't plan on that video to be seen by hardly anybody. I didn't plan on it going anywhere. To, I, currently, that video has 125,000 views. And it started just, it, it right away, it just went. It started just climbing. And I just sat there looking at my phone going, what just happened? So I'm like, okay, so I'll just start putting out a couple more videos and see what happens. Maybe it's a fluke. Maybe it's just, you know, an accident. Maybe it's a glitch in the matrix. Next thing I know, 
I'm getting a hundred new subscribers a day. And that's not a joke. I was literally getting a hundred subscribers a day. That's why within three weeks I had met all the criteria to be um, monetized on here. And I just sat here just with my head, just exploding going, okay, now I'm in over my head. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't plan on any of this. I didn't plan on any of this happening. I just sat here just that literally having an anxiety attack. Cause I'm like, I have no clue what I'm doing. I don't know how to handle this. I don't know how to manage this. I don't know nothing. Thankfully, Jenna was one of the people that ended up getting um, getting fed my channel. She became a subscriber because she liked the channel. And it just so happens that she has knowledge due to her husband being a producer for a couple other YouTube channels. She had some knowledge and she had the ability to help. And she reached out and offered to help. And I was in tears. I was in absolute tears going, thank you so much because I don't know what I'm doing. And I, this is obviously something people want. I just don't know how to give it to them because I have no clue what I'm doing. So I was very fortunate that Jenna jumped in there. And then I got Wanda jumping in here and she has now gotten me into doing presentations and doing some things to help with the community of, of animals and all this other. It's been an absolute whirlwind in the last seven, eight months, actually. Um, it's been crazy. You guys have absolutely just turned up. And I can't, I can't believe what you guys have done with this channel. I know that we put out the content, but if you guys didn't like it, watch it and participate in this, there wouldn't be a channel. So when I say you guys absolutely just took this to a place I did not expect, I am forever in your debt, forever grateful for what you guys have done. This has been the funnest thing I've ever done in my life. This has been the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. And I absolutely love it. I love it more than anything else in the whole world. So thank you guys. I seriously thank all you guys for everything you've done to help with this and to put this where it is. Cause I'd be nowhere if it wasn't for you guys. Really. I really would. <laughs> Listen, I was, I was ranting there for a minute. So I've got to back up on the, on the chat. Cause I've got to see what you guys have said. Cause I lost some of you guys. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Instagram is worse. This is a day the feed becomes endless. I know, Emmanuel. I know. I know. Instagram is just as bad. It's it, if not worse. You're right. Go outside, walk, go for a drive, mountain to the beach, live for the moment. Barbara, you are so right. And by the way, hi, Barbara. I saw you check in, but I was in the middle of something, and then I wanted to get back to you, and now I'm up. Hi, Barbara. How you doing? Good to have you here. Always. Thank you, Kim, to you and Jenna, as I know y'all put a lot of hard work into this channel and community. We do. We put a lot of our, we, we put our, we put everything of ourselves into this. We really do, both of us. And it's it's a labor of love and just like the cats are, and we absolutely love every minute of it. Um, I only have YouTube at the moment because of content creators like you. They're so genuine and fun to listen and engage with. The other social media platforms cause so much much. You know, I hate that when I go on TikTok or Instagram and I watch a video, the first thing I have to ask myself is, is this real? I hate that. Cause you know what? If I wanted to watch fake programming, I'd still have TV. Do you know I have not watched regular TV in years? Like I, I have not watched regular TV in years. You know why? Cause it's fake. It's all, it's, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'd rather have genuine, you know, genuine interactions just like you were just saying. So yeah, I, I, I really hate the fact that you got to question things. And I have, a, you know, I have a lot of opinions, but I'm going to keep a lot of them myself because we don't want to get canceled just yet, guys. I was excited to see your video. Oh, Olivia, that's so nice of you. Thank you. I'm so happy your vids came to me early on. Kat, I am so blessed for all of you guys. Really, thank you guys. And, the, and all of you guys that have been here since like, like the beginning, you guys rock. And the ones that are new, thank you guys for coming in here and joining us and, and continuing this with us because... I'm having a blast. I really am, guys. That video is how I found you. I'm a woman married to a woman with five adopted cats, and we enjoy your videos so much. Oh, my God. That's so awesome. Yay. I love that. Oh, I'm so happy for you and your little household. That's so cute. Thank you guys so much for joining in here and, and, and chatting with us. Because if you found me from that first video, I don't know how long you've been watching and just, like, not saying anything, but... Thank you for jumping in here and saying hi and introducing yourself to all of us because it's great to have you here. 
my comment my comments are typoed my freaking keyboard typing jumps around if i don't watch it it looks like i'm drunk typing Nanya. <laughs> oh my god you guys are so funny um Kim, I remember when I came across that first video, I was like, wow, this is me. Cam, you know what? You know how many people jumped in there and said that? I was like, wait a minute. So there's other people out here like me? And like I've said before, and again, for those of you that might be new in here, I started this channel because I got really tired of only seeing Beverly Hills houses with that are fake and hoarder houses. Because I'm like, no, there's a whole entire in-between normal that is not being recognized. And they need to be recognized because, you know what, I have 19 cats. I'm not a hoarder. Hi, guys. Look around my house. Is this a hoarder house? No. No, it's not. So there's a whole entire niche of people that are being completely left out. And that included me. And I know it includes a lot of you guys. So I was like, no, I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to try to, you know, I'm going to try to get the voice out there. For those of us that are just normal, our houses don't look like Beverly Hills mansions. Of course they don't. And you know what? People that have five kids, they house don't look like a Beverly Hills mansion either, but don't nobody put them on an episode of Hoarders, now do they? And I know people that have kids just so they can take the, the child tax credit at the, the end of the year. So let's talk about, and well, that, let's, not, let's not talk about that. But you know what I'm saying? My point is there are people that literally have children so they can collect money. And that's okay. But God forbid one of us have 19 cats, right? Come on. No. I look back on the first one. Wait, wait, wait. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I lost it. I lost you. I lost you. Where'd you go? I look back on that first one and cannot believe how much you've grown in a personal way. The channel obviously grew, but you, you've grown so much. Love seeing it. Thank you, Ruby Dawn. I love it so much. That's awesome. I fell in love with your channel. First time I watched. Thank you, Deborah. Listen to you guys. You guys are just going to make, you guys are going to make me cry. Kim, you resonate with an under underserved community. There's so much stigma around multi-cat, more than eight households, and the stigma surrounding them. You're breaking barriers, my friend. Wanda, listen, that's awesome of you to say, but I want you to take a bow, lady, because you, you are giving me a much bigger platform to help break those barriers down, and you are doing just as much, if not more, on a larger scale. Yes, I'm on YouTube, but you are doing this on a much larger scale than I am. And you're bringing me along for the ride. And I can't thank you enough for that. Emmanuel, I love watching cat videos, but I don't usually subscribe to them. Really? But you subscribe to us? Emmanuel? And you're a member? I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> Um, Cami, I actually mentioned your channel on my YouTube video recently because I love your channel so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that shout out. That's awesome. So for those of you that, you know, that haven't gone over and checked out her channel, please do. Please do, guys. Everybody follow everybody. Listen, we're all about, we're, I'm a community of, I want a community of people that like, that helps each other. That's why, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to do the interview with Justin Jenny. That's why I wanted to do the interview with Amy from the Milo the, the Truck Cat. Um, and with, uh, with Hannah, with, uh, with Russell the Button Cat, because it's all about let's let's help everybody. Let's help each other. Let's bring each other up. Let's let's try to boost each other's channels. Let's try to make something out of this. It's not about me, 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 me. It's about all of us and just bringing everybody together to just kind of boost each other up and share communities. Let's have cross communities. You know, you guys should jump over and you guys should subscribe to some of these other channels. And, you know, same thing with their, their audience. It'd be great if we could all just share instead of people being selfish about things. That'd be nice. Wouldn't that be nice, guys? That'd be a great world. <laughs> um you watch TCM. I love that. I listen, I used to. I used to love TCM. Um, my grandparents watched it, and I, so I watched a lot with them. So I love that. I love that. But like I said, I have not watched TV in years. I have I haven't either. I don't even own a TV. Hey guys, guys, <whistles> come on. I know I recognize that voice. Choo choo, come here. They're back there just playing. Um, uh, let's see, Ruby. It's a sincerity, realness, and caring here. That's what makes it great. I'm so glad. We were adopted by a stray cat last summer who has F-E-L-O-V. We converted our lower level for him and the other four share the remainder of the house. Does anyone have experience with? Yeah, hey, if anybody has experience with those kind of, with, with those kind of issues, please jump in here and talk with, uh, talk with more coffee, please. More coffee. I had the same issue with the FIV. <laughs> this keeps jumping. You guys are being you guys are being quick. <laughs> Who 
who is vicious to other kitties. Oh, I don't feel like normal. I have mild ADHD. You know what, Joanna? Listen, there is nothing wrong with that. I mean, quite honestly, think about it. People that have ADHD and stuff, that kind of is the norm these days. I mean, it really is. When you think about it, I'm not saying that it should be, and it shouldn't be upsetting, but it's kind of actually, that's kind of the norm these days. Most people do have those things. And, uh, and you just kind of, kind of, I, I think people that don't have those diagnoses are kind of the rarity these days. I mean, look at, I mean, hell, I mean, I'm an, I'm an, I'm a recovering addict, so I'm not normal either. I don't like be, I don't want to be normal. That's my thing. I do not want to be normal. That does not sound like any fun at all. That sounds real boring. You are so real, Cam. I appreciate that. Well, thank you, Cam. I really appreciate that. It's a wonderful thing. People who got kids for the benefits and when the kids reach the legal age, adult, they get kicked out. I know, Emmanuel. Is that what I'm saying? See, so you know what I'm talking about. It's crazy, but that's okay. That's okay. But don't you dare have too many cats. Listen, I'm sorry to tell people. I and a lot of you guys in this community, we take better care of our animals than a lot of people take care of their their children. So I don't want to hear nothing from nobody. All the skeptics can just go go in a corner and just think about what they did. One day I will ask if you remember what my story was when I first came across this channel. Oh, I know you remember, but if I tell you, I think it will rush many, but for another time. Okay, you know what? Listen, Nanya, remember something. Two things I'm going to tell you. One, my memory sucks. We all know that. I've made no mistake about them or no, 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 no question about that. My memory absolutely sucks. And top of that, try and give me a little bit of grace here because y'all go to only remember one person. I got a lot of you guys remember. And I do, I try, I try really hard to remember everybody, everybody's story. Like with Cam and Cammy, I'm trying really hard to remember which one we've got, which so we know who we're talking about. Cause I think everybody deserves an individual, you know, individual attention. And I don't want to just be like, Oh, Cammy, Cammy, Cammy. And nobody knows who I'm talking about. So for those of you that don't know the different, how to differentiate these in the chat, when you see Cammy Roundtree, that is who I'm talking about when I say Cam. And the other one that says Elena Camellia, that's who I'm talking about when I say Cammy. Just so that you guys all know the difference. That's how we've done it because each of them deserve their own individual identity on here and they have very similar names. So we had to figure out how to differentiate them. But I'm, I'm working on it, I'm, I'm trying. Oh, Ken, my bad. I'm late. Ken, don't even worry about it, hun. I know that you, I know that, I know you got things going on and yeah, I told you I screwed up my sleep schedule again. You're fine, honey. You're fine. You're fine. Let's give appreciation across the board for all those people working tirelessly on their own time and dime to make life better for cats and the people who love them. I agree, Wanda. I agree. Cam, I'm on disability, so I can't work. So old movies are my hobby. That's awesome, though. At least you have something that you enjoy. I mean, that's all that matters. And I know that the, the camera is shaking because I'm, I'm sitting here touching my laptop so I can scroll. So I'm sorry for that, guys. Oh, let's see. I have ADHD and autism. Oh, Cammy, you do. Okay. Well, see, that's what I mean. Everybody's got, everybody's got something. And you know what? Who cares? I mean, you deal with yours. And nobody has any right to shame anybody or try to make things more difficult for somebody. That's no, you do. You've got your struggles and you're dealing with your struggles the way you need to deal with them. Don't worry about everybody else says or thinks. There's no such, I don't like normal. <laughs> I don't like the normal thing about human beings. They're all, we're all different and it's okay. Exactly. Emmanuel. Exactly. We're all different. We're all individual. We're all unique. We should be, we should be, Spending our time celebrating those uniquenesses and those differences rather than trying to tear each other down for them. It's just, it's makes me so sad at the end of the day when I see all these people just trying to tear somebody else down for something that's different about them. It's like, why, what are you getting out of that? You just miserable yourself. So can I take better care of my cats than I do myself? You know, shamefully, I think I do too most days. And I know that I shouldn't, I know that I've got to take care of myself because if I don't take care of myself, then I can't, 100% be there for them. It's hard though. It's hard. It's hard not to just absolutely just go all out on them and then just suffer myself because they're cats. They can't do for themselves. I have to do for them because they can't. So in a way, you know, I don't feel bad, but at the same time, I try to take as best care of myself as I possibly can just so that I can be around for them. 
<clears throat> differences are awesome. I agree with you, Cami. I really do. I agree with you 100%. I think everybody's differences is what makes this world amazing and what makes people amazing. Question, is there a dictionary for all the abbreviated words? Um, are, if you're meeting in chat, my best suggestion, and this is what I've had to do. Listen, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to make a confession, guys. I don't always understand everything you guys say in chat, <laughs> but I don't want to like, I don't want to like call somebody out and make somebody explain something. So what I'll do is I will start, I will just Google everything. I'll Google anything I don't understand, you know, after the, after the stream is over, just like, I can be like, okay, now that makes sense. And then I know for next time. So Barbara, my best advice is if there's something that you're not getting, just Google it, Google it, or just ask. If somebody says something that you don't quite understand what they're talking about, just ask in chat. Because if you if they don't see your question, I'm going to try to see it and I'll ask out loud. I'll be the one to do it. I don't care. Cam says my vet has been calling me crazy cat lady. That's so cute. I love that. I think it's a I think it's a badge of honor, guys. Think of a lot of us do again. Um, let's see. Cam, you do great. No worries. Thank you very much. I appreciate that so much. Ken, spit. Ken, don't spit. That's not nice. Come on now. You guys are just, look at you guys. This is what I love. I mean, not necessarily anything you guys are saying to me, but the, the conversations you guys have, the way you guys help each other out and you guys support each other is just, it's awesome. I love it. I love it so much. You guys are just amazing. Yeah, the, Barbara, like I said, I, mean, I don't know how much help I can be, but yeah, if there's something that you don't understand, please, please, please just ask. Ask because you know what? You never know. You might not be the only one that doesn't understand. And by the way, Barbara, happy early birthday for being 75. That's awesome. I think that's great. I think that's phenomenal. I hope I live to see that, that, that birthday. I hope I do. I'm not saying that there is any reason why I shouldn't, but we are not promised tomorrow. We all know that. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, Ken, Ken's bringing up something that we were talking about yesterday, clone and then harvest embryonic stem cells, and that can be used to cure many diseases. And like I said yesterday, Ken, I totally agree with you. It's a, it's a very different situation. What you're talking about is actually cloning just individual cells as a, as an ability, as a way to cure potential things in existing humans. What I have a problem with is us thinking that we have the right to clone an entire whole ass person. That's where I'm going. No, do it. No. I mean, look at, look at what we're doing. Okay. So look at AI. People are terrified of AI. Look what we've done with AI. What are we doing? Like I said, we are literally, it's not, they're not kidding. We are literally going to be the only species that ever, that has ever created their own extinction. We are going to make ourselves extinct because of the stupid things that we do. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. But no, I, I'm, I'm a hundred percent behind, you know, the whole, you know, cloning individual cells in order to find cures for things to, to assist in people that humans that already exist. I just don't think that we should be doing. Yeah. Well, no, you would, you would have to clone the entire person from the de denucleated egg and after five days are created, but yes. Okay. So, okay. Yes. I see what you're saying. Okay. When I say a whole ass person, I mean, actually creating a whole ass person, another version of me at my age, you know, letting it actually be that I, I think is, I understand that we have to do, yes, you don't let the clone go to full term. And that's what I mean. It should be. I, I, I can get behind the idea of having to clone something in order to get cells to treat, say, find a, find a cure for cancer. I mean, how wonderful would that be? How amazing would that be? And if it means we just have to clone a couple of, you know, we have to clone a, an embryo to the point of getting those cells, I get it. We all have to make compromises in certain things. There's compromises have to take place in order to get to where we need to be. And that's true for just about everything in life, not just this. So can I get behind that? Yes. Cloning a whole ass damn person? No. No. That's just, mm -mm. could you imagine? <laughs> wait, 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 guys. Could you imagine if you could just go someplace and clone yourself? Could you imagine if there was like clones of me running around? Come on. 
The world does not need clones of me running around. God won't regrow amputees limbs. I would with their opponent cloning. And and again, again, there's there's discussions to be had. Am I the be all end all here? No. Does my opinion actually matter in the grand scheme of things when it comes to this? No. But I think you know what I'm talking about. I know exactly what you're saying. Medical things, yes, I get it. Michael Keaton multiplicity, that's what I'm talking about. I like pizza, Steve. Yeah, I, I've seen the movie. Um, but that's what I'm talking about. That kind of cloning, no. No, that's bad. Hi, Gira. Would you like to come on and say hi? You guys want to say hi to Bagheera? Yeah, Dolly the Sheep, Barbara. We were talking about that yesterday. Yeah, that's crazy. That Dolly the Sheep was crazy. And people were mad. People were really mad about that. People got real up in arms about that. And I understand. Island of Dr. M Dr. Moreau. See, I'm saying, dude, it's not. You guys, you want to come out and say hi? You guys want to say hi to Bagheera? I'm going to go grab Bagheera. Hold on. I know. Come here. You want to come say hi? I know. I hear you. Everybody can hear you. You want to come say hi to everybody? Oh, I lost my glasses. Uh oh, I lost my glasses. Here we go. There's Gira. Say hello to everybody. Say hello. There's Gira. There's my little Gira boy. Yeah, he wanted to come on and say hi. Yes. <laughs> mm. Look at that. Catitude says hi. Yeah. I know, Wanda. They want to bring back woolly mammoths. Listen, this is what I'm saying. Listen, woolly mammoths are not here for a reason. There's a reason, guys. <laughs> This needs to stop. It's too crazy. And there are already too many people on this earth. I know, right? Right? We'd be like Fred Flintstone's episode, Fred's Yabba Dabba Do All Over There. I know. Could you imagine, guys? Come on. I know. Just a baby kitten. Look at him. Yeah, look at him. Look at this handsome boy face. He's so handsome. He's such a handsome boy, aren't you? You're so handsome. You're such a handsome little boy. Yes, you are. Mwah. Sleepy hero. You want to go over here? Here. Mom, put you on the couch. Over here. You're fine. Mom is right here. Mittens, you, you know, don't chew me at me. No, you leave him alone. You want to come say hi? Come here. We'll give you some attention too. Here, Mittens would like to say hi. Hi. This is the naughty boy face. Sometimes he's good, but right now he's naughty boy face. Yeah, that's a naughty boy face, isn't it? You and your whiskers. Come on. There you go. City boy. <laughs> Mittens, you stay over here. No, you stay over here and you leave him alone. I mean it. You leave him alone. As you guys can see, we got, oh my gosh, weird. There's Sadie. Sadie's sleeping. <laughs> you love little void kittens? I'm assuming when you say little void kittens, you mean black caddies? Because there's like little black shadows, like little voids. They're so cute. I know. I love them too. Hi, Mittens. Oh, look, Ray said hi. And they said you're an instigator. You certainly are. I know. Can you hear? Can everybody hear him? He's saying hi. Mittens, no, you can't have my coffee. He wants to get my coffee. Yes, at my void, I mean black kitties. I think, think that's the cutest thing in the whole world. <laughs> hi, big girl, Mittens, Carly. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Mm. What would you like? What would you like, honey? Huh? Here, let me see if I can turn you guys. You guys can see more kitties. So over here. We have, hang on, I don't want the kids, I don't want the laptop to fall. We have uh, Tiny Whiny right here. We have Sherlock right here. Ah, Mittens, stop. He's over here pushing on my hand so that I move the laptop. Stop, Mittens. No, don't. Don't. Okay, so over here we have Hazel right here. We have Lulu right here. Obviously, we have Gira right here. Down in the bed. Uh, Mitten, stop. Stop, Mitten. Mitten. <laughs> now in the bed, we have, oh my God, I can't do this without a mirror or without the mirror thing. And Mitten's just pushing my finger on. Down here in the bed, we have, <laughs> we have Marcel. Stop, Mitten. Mitten. Oh my gosh, Mitten's. Hold on. I got I to gotta get Mitten's to stop doing what he's doing. Mitten, Mitten, you guys stop, honey. You guys stop it. No, you guys stop it, buddy boy. No, you don't. Don't push away from me. You guys stop it. You guys stop it. You want my attention so bad. Now you got my attention. Yes, you do. No, you got my attention. Yes, now you got my attention. Silly boy. Okay, here we go. Yes, you're okay. Silva, Silva, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing, Silva, Silva? I know, honey. Oh, phew. now I got Mitten's hair in my face. Oh, so. 
I know, Ken. Ken, we all know. I know that you're very passionate. Listen, I know. I get it. I get it. I get it. And you are. And, you know, like, like I said, I mean, like I said yesterday, you know, you're a very smart guy. You know a lot, of, a lot of things about a lot of things. And I'm very impressed with that. Don't be a don't don't apologize for that. Uh, Novi named after Supernova, the Black Speedy too. That's so cute. I love that name. Several black bees. I'm just keeping. I'm trying to keep up with you guys. You guys are going a little bit fast now. Keep. I mean, don't stop. Keep talking. But I'm just like I'm like, for one of the very first times, I'm having a hard time keeping up with you guys. I love that. We have the feel-away diffusers to try to help calm our instigators. Cam, listen, oh, we talked about this. I have tried literally everything. I have, honest to God, tried everything out on the market. I have tried Jackson Galaxy's method. I have tried feel-away. I've tried everything you can think of. Mittens and Oswald with the Bagheera thing, it's just a situation I am never going to be able to resolve. So I just... I've just I've just settled with the fact that I'm just gonna have to figure out I just gotta keep things calm. I just gotta play referee and manage things the best I can because I'm not getting rid of Bagheera because these guys um because these guys are being mean to him. That's not fair to him. And I'm not gonna throw out I'm not I'm not throwing out any of my cats. That's just not happening. Now, if it got to a situation where somebody was literally being harmed or being hurt, yes. At that point, I'd be like, okay, now it's time. Somebody has to go because we can't let anybody get hurt. As of right now, nobody's being hurt. It's just inconvenient to me, and it's, it's fine. I'll live with it. I read yesterday that female cats are right pod, and I never knew that. Really? I didn't know that cats could have a dominant paw. That's very interesting, though. Eyes of fear in the eyes of love. <laughs> we explore space, both in and out, together, forever in peace. Ken, you are so funny. Just, I love reading your comments. Some of the things you say are just so, just like, just, just amazing to me sometimes. <laughs> you two with your names, Cam and Cam, you guys are so cute. Kim, I try to convince myself it helps, Cam. <laughs> I tried feel away many times, didn't work at all. And, and, and it doesn't. Okay, and now since we're, okay. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put an opinion out there. Wanda's gonna be so flipping happy about this one. All right, guys, I'm gonna put out a probably an unpopular opinion. Uh, and Nunya, if you're talking about um, Furball Sanctuary, Furball Farm Sanctuary, I love that place. Yes, it's in Minnesota. It's in Fairville, Minnesota. And when I go up to Minnesota this summer to go visit my son, I actually plan on going there and doing a video to show you guys. So yes, I am super excited about that. Yes, Wanda. All right. Let's get into this, guys. And again, this is a personal opinion, guys. This is my personal opinion. I do not expect anybody to be... Listen, when I give a personal opinion, it's not because I'm trying to get anybody on my side. It's not because I'm trying to form some revolution. I just have an opinion. And the opinions about Jackson Galaxy. God, I hope he never comes for me. Okay. Listen, I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really not. And I'm going to explain to you why. I'm going to explain to you why. Just don't come for me just yet. Okay? Everybody has a personal opinion. If you're a fan, great. You can be a fan. And I'm totally, I'm, I'm, I'm behind you 100%. Everybody, everybody has, and again, this goes back to the differences between people. Holy crap, I'm going to cry because I'm so glad so many of you are jumping in and backing me up, even though I'm not trying to start a revolution. I'm just glad that I don't have a bunch of people really mad at me right now. Um, the, one of the wonderful things about humans is we all have the right to an opinion, and it should be respected. I'm not asking you to agree with me, but I will explain to you why I am not his fan. That has not always been the case. I used to be one of his hugest fans, okay? Biggest fan ever. There was one episode, one, one episode of My Cat from Hell that after I watched it, I went, nope, I'm done. He went to somebody's house where she had two cats and they were fighting, okay? And he stood outside of their house 
and talking to the camera, doing his one of his little like, like the B-roll clips or whatever. He flat out looked into the camera and said, if she can't make it work, then I'm taking one of her cats with me. That's all there is to it. And I sat there going, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Who are you? Who are you? Now, I get you want to go in and help. That's fine. Now, had he said to the camera, if she can't make this work and these cats are in danger of hurting each other, I'm going to have to call, you know, call the proper authorities and have them investigate the situation to, you know, to prevent anybody from getting hurt. I would be fine with that comment. But what he said, and you guys can go back and find the episode. He literally stood there and said, if she can't make it work, I'm taking one of the cats. And I was really turned off by that right there. Thank you, Ken. You can't do that, Jackson. He ain't animal control. He has no thing. He doesn't. And that was my problem with him. I was his fan until that episode. Ever since then, because he, yeah, he could have helped instead. Exactly, Emmanuel. If he claims to be this cat whisperer, which we'll get into that. Just hang on. We're, we're going to have a little conversation here. We're going to have a conversation. I'm not getting on a soapbox. I am just telling you my perspective. And if you have a different perspective, you are more than welcome to put it in the chat. I will read it and we'll discuss it. This is not a debate. This is not an argument. This is a discussion, guys. We are adults and we can do this. Um, I've been really leery about it until now because it's just, there's so many people that like him so much. And it's not that I wanted to, I wanted to like pretend... That's why I did the let's try his method because I was still trying to give him a chance. Okay. So his whole premise is for the love of cats, right? Right. But yet he's threatening to take someone's animal when he doesn't have the legal authority to do that. That upset me. That upset me a lot. Okay. That, that really upset me. But beyond that, um, I invite any of you to go on Google and look up his Wikipedia page. Look up his history. Look up his qualifications. You will find that he has no formal training in animal welfare, any, any animal care, any animal anything. He has none. He spent a couple of years working at a facility. He also, he grew up on the Upper West Side. I think it's the Upper West Side. Forgive me if I've got the, the locations wrong because I don't know New York well. I just know that he, he grew up on the upper like west side of New York or something. Anyways, the high the high buck area. So he had a very well-to-do grow, growing up, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But he didn't come from meager beginnings. He also graduated from Iowa University, University of Iowa, with a theater degree. And then all of a sudden, somehow he ended up out in Denver, Colorado after that. And he... Uh, he suddenly is the cat whisperer. Nowhere in his history does he have any formal training. But he does have formal training as an actor. So my take on Jackson Galaxy is that while a lot of his advice might be sound, it's not his. I do believe that he is a front person. He is the spokesperson with a lot of experts behind him feeding him, you know, what's going on you know, what, you know, the information and, and there are experts behind him, but he himself is not, um, is not an expert. He's got, listen, when it comes down to it at the end of the day, I think there's a lot of us in here that are more of an expert on cats than he is. I mean, that's just my opinion. Again, my opinion, guys, my opinion. Okay. Um, I see that somebody had mentioned that, okay. Nunya says, I've only been following him lately only because he is vlogging about his cat that has cancer right now, but I do not agree with. Here's the other thing. I was looking into, okay, so when I was trying to do, when I was trying to give him another chance with his reintroduction method with Oswald Mittens and, and, um, and Bagheera, first of all, it didn't work. And I followed his steps to the T. I have a screen door on my front room. I went to the extent of building a screen door to make sure I followed his procedure to the T. And you guys know that because I videoed it and it didn't work. Now I'm not saying that that makes him, that makes him a fake. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that it's, his methods don't always work, but he also sells these little scent things that will help in blah, 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 blah. Do you know how much those scent things cost? Okay. So go on his website Look at the instructions for it. It's a four ounce bottle. 
We're talking a bottle about that big. Okay. It's $28 for a bottle that big. The instructions in my house means that bottle would last maybe two, three days. So basically the man who's saying he is all about animals, all about trying to make sure that they're happy, all about the care and welfare of animals, and it's all for the love of cats, is trying to sell me. He's now in flip. Listen. If you have a product that actually works to make cats' lives better, why are you charging $28 for a four-ounce bottle that's going to last somebody who actually needs it two to three days? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I got a problem with that. I got a big problem with that. It's not for the love of cats. It's for the love of money. That's There's just things that have built up over time, and Cam says any multiple kitty owner knows he's full of shit. And, and I'm, I'm glad you guys, I'm glad you guys see through a lot of this. I'm not saying that everything that comes out of his mouth is a bald face lie, because it's not. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's got a lot of experts working behind him that are giving him all this information. I'm sure he has some knowledge. I'm not taking that away from him. He does own multiple cats. He has worked in facilities. He has done that. Here's my other problem. And Wanda, you're going to have to help me, because I don't, unless you've already said it. I don't remember what's the name of the shelter place, um, whatever. So he's a big fan of this one particular organization. It's about no-kill shelters. Here's the problem, guys. Here's the problem. Please listen. No-kill shelters. I know that they sound, they were given that name because it sounds like a great idea. And in theory, it is. Best Friends, thank you. Best Friends Animal Society. He is a huge backer of Best Friends Animal Society. The problem with no-kill shelters is, this is my best analogy to make people understand why it's a bad idea. They only accept the cats they know can get adopted. That's why there's no-kill, because they know that it's going, they're going to get adopted. So it's kind of like Harvard, Yale. They have huge, huge, you know, success rates with their graduating classes. You know why? Because they only let in the best of the best, the people that will succeed. That's why they have like 98% success rate for their graduates. Of course they do because you only let in the best of the best. That's not a 98% success rate for just anybody that, that applies to that school. No, you only let in the best. Of course they're going to succeed. Same thing with no-kill shelters. They're only going to take the cats that they know are going to get adopted, that they know have, a, like, kittens. You know what? Most of them won't take black cats. You know why? Because there's a stigma that comes with black cats. So, of course, it's a no-kill shelter. But what does that mean for all the cats that aren't on their best of the best list? Those animals don't get it considered. So, no-kill shelters in my book are questionable at best. I didn't know any of this until... Wanda brought me into this and I started learning more and started getting, in, you know, getting more informed and everything that I've been learning. It's like, you know, we got to do better guys. We got to do better. And Jackson galaxy, just, I'm not, I'm just not his fan anymore. Not after what he did on that one episode of uh, my cat from hell, not after all the, all the, just Googling him and finding out that he actually has nothing in his past that, that makes him any kind of, you know, expert on anything. So yeah. So that's my take. That's my take. And like I said, anybody, oh yeah, I was going to say the content about his cat. I am so devastated that his cat is going through cancer. It is awful. I have not watched a single episode. And I'm going to tell you why. Because at one point Jackson Galaxy actually said that he thought people that vlog and document their cat, their animals misery like that are horrible. And that he would never do that. All I'm going to say. He said that. He made that statement one time about other people that documented and vlogged their cats, their animals suffering. So I won't watch a single episode of what he's doing. I just won't. I'm not going to, because, you know, I, it's hypocritical. It's wrong. And because, because of what I know about him and my opinion of him, I have to sit back and wonder, what is he actually doing? What is he actually doing to 
assist that cat? And what is he not doing to drag it out? I know that's really dark. And I hate the fact that I have to question that, but that's where I'm at with Jackson Galaxy. I'm to the point with him where I have to see her and literally in my mind go, is he really? Because I mean, as far as I know, he's doing a lot of holistic treatments for that cat. And again, I haven't watched a single episode. So if I'm wrong, I apologize. I'll be the first one to say I'm wrong. I just, from what I've been told by people that are watching it, it seems like he's doing a lot of holistic medicines rather than actual science medicines for that cat. So that's why I sit back and go, how much is he trying to help the cat and how much is he dragging out that poor cat suffering just for attention? And that's a horrible thing to think. And I hate the fact that I have to question that, but there you go, guys. Again, if somebody has something, to, if there's something, if you guys know something about this that I don't know, Educate me, please. I will not be mad about anybody coming to me and saying, but Kim, he said, da, 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 da. Tell me. I would love to like him. I really would. I wish I could like him. I just can't anymore. I just, I can't. I just know too much. I've, I've found out too much stuff. I've done too much research on him to even think for a second that he's anything, anything that's genuine. And I hate that because you know what? He's such a big person and he's such a big He's such a big attraction and it's like, God, why can't he just be real? Cause that'd be great. I mean, it's kind of like Caesar Milan. Anybody knows who Caesar Milan is? That's the dog whisperer. Listen, Caesar Milan has never tried to be anything except for an entertainer. Yes, he's really good with it. But if you look up Caesar Milan's background, you're going to find he actually has training. He has training. He has training behind him to be who he is and to do what he does. So it's like, there's more legitimacy to Caesar Milan than there is to Jackson Galaxy. I think Jackson Galaxy started out with the best intentions. I do. I do. But we all know the old saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, right? And we all know the slippery slope that can be. So anyways, that is my, <laughs> I'm actually really glad that I got that out. <laughs> oh, Joanne, you actually know Caesar Milan or are you just saying you know who he is? But you know him personally. Because I love, listen, I love Caesar Milan. I love watching him work with dogs. I just watched an episode that came up on my feed of him helping Howie Mandel and his wife with a little chihuahua they got. And it was adorable. But see, Caesar, okay, you know who he is. Oh, you know who he is. Not personally, though, right? Because if you know him personally, I'm jealous. <laughs> um. So, yeah. So, and again, you guys, I am just... I'm just a chick with 19 cats in a box on YouTube. Please don't think that I'm I'm got any podium to like tell you guys what to think or what to do. Just do me a favor before you support somebody, and that goes for anybody, me included. Me included, guys. That's why I'm really transparent with my history and whatnot, because I don't want anybody to like come across something later on and go, oh yeah, well, Kim, you're an ex, you're an ex-drug addict. Yeah, I know I am. And I've never made that a secret. I'm really transparent about who I am, where I've been, what I've done. The only thing I, I have to be careful about is how I say certain things on here. And that's only because of YouTube. Believe me, if, if I had the freedom on here to just tell you like it was, I could tell you that in my past life, I was a cook. I'm just going to say that. I don't need a food either. But I can't, I can't in that context tell you that entire story because YouTube doesn't like it. So it's not anything I'm trying to hide. I just can't say certain things because of YouTube restrictions, just so you guys know. Um, oh yeah, one of the cat, the, our, the Armchair Cat Advocate channel. Um, okay, but before we get to that, I just gonna say anybody, please you guys just do your homework on things. Before you support somebody, before you get behind somebody, before you back somebody up, um, just make sure that you look into their history, look into their past, see what their qualifications are. If you're looking at Jackson Galaxy from an entertainment point of view, he's a great entertainer. He really is. I mean, I, if, I, if I'm if i just looking at him as an entertainer, I spilled my coffee. Hang on, I gotta grab my spin up. We do a spin up. Yay. I did. I literally like was getting really unhinged with my conversation and I spilled a little bit of my coffee. So now I'm just going to spin mop it real quick. Look at how fun that was, guys. All right. 
So yeah, before you back anybody, before you throw your whole weight behind something, just do me a favor and just, yeah. Um, yeah, just do your homework. Just make sure you know who you're backing up. And like I said, that includes me. Go back and read. If you, for any of you that haven't seen my story, please go watch my story. Because some people, this is one of the reasons why I'm really upfront about those things. There's some people out there that are like, if I'd have known that about her, I would have never supported her channel. And you know what? That's their right. That is their right. And I will never try to dupe anybody into doing something that they wouldn't normally do if they knew all the information. So that's why I'm pretty transparent about what I'm doing and who I am and where I came from and what I used to be and where I'm at now. Because if somebody's going to support me, I want them to support me because they firmly believe in me. So there. And I know, I know, I know, Ken, but there are people out there that have that frame of mind. And I do not want somebody to feel like they were duped into something. That's never my intention. Just like, and this is not something that I do. I mean, anytime I've ever gotten into a, into a friendship or even... Um, or even, what was I going to say? Or even, even like if I've tried dating in the past, one of the first things I tell people is about my history. Why? Because it's something that's relevant and everyone should have the decision, the right to make a decision about whether they want to be involved with somebody with a past like that or not. It's not that I'm trying to badmouth myself. I just like giving people that, 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 that freedom. Here, this is my this is my history. It's up to you now if you want to still be my friend. And I know it doesn't make me a, a make me fake or a bad person. I know that. But there are people out there that maybe have. I mean, God forbid I ever like met some guy that had like a political you know aspiration. Being involved with me would probably cause an issue for that person. And it's not because I'm a bad person, but because of just that realm. And so that's why I try to make sure people know about me before I let them have anything to do with supporting me because they need to be able to have that choice. And I believe that that's true for, you know, anybody. So like I said, just do your homework on people. Make sure you know who you're supporting before you support them. Make sure it's something that you agree with. That's all. Now, Wanda. Um, so as you guys know, Wanda and I have been talking around and kicking around the idea of doing, um, starting her channel with the Armchair Cat Advocate. We have not started that yet. I'm going to tell you why. Um, because <laughs> perfect. What are you doing? <laughs> they got the zoomies. Um, because Wanda has been very overwhelmed with a lot of things going on in her life right now. I have been back and forth with work and whatnot. And we want to make sure that when we put out content on that channel, we are putting it out in the best way possible. We want the best possible content on that channel. So, um, we don't want to just throw something together for the, the sake of throwing it together. So if it takes us a little while, just trust me when I say it's taking a while because we want to put the best possible content together we, as, as we can. We just don't want to throw something out there. So forgive me for the delay, but we need to be able to sit down and actually focus on that and make some content to go on there that has our 100% full attention. So we are doing it. That has not been, that has not been scrapped. I wish you could see all, I wish I had a 360 camera so you could see all the way around because Perfect is just, she is literally just running around with the zoomies. Where is she? She's right there right now. She made it all the way around. Um, <laughs> she's being so funny. Um, so yeah, so I just want to catch up. That that's So that's the armchair advocate thing. That's where we're at with that. Like I said, we're still doing it. We just want to, yeah, we just want to make sure that we're doing the best we can. Um, Mary Miles says, I can't believe all the humans that are doing their death vlogs and then the spouse continues the channel. Mm, so, Mary, I'm just curious if you're referring to a channel in particular because I can think of one right now, but I understand why the husband is continuing it with the kids and with what she started was so important to her and carrying on her legacy because she asked him to. Because at first he didn't want to, but I don't know if you're talking. If we're talking, thinking of the same one. I used to watch for entertainment. I never tried doing any of your suggestions. I do my own thing. Good for you, Nanya. Good for you. Don't be sway. Don't be a sheep, man. <laughs> um, I'm just reading through your comments, guys. Deborah says I appreciate your transparency. I'm 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 glad you do. I'm glad. There's you know, believe it or not, there's some people that don't like my honesty. They actually call me the B word. <laughs> Maybe I'm 
too honest sometimes. <laughs> Did these pants make my butt look big? Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God, I'm snorting now. Good Lord. Oh, I'm not, listen, I'm that friend. I am that friend. You know why I'm that friend? Because if, if, if I'm wearing something that looks ridiculous, I want somebody to tell me, don't let me go out in public looking ridiculous with, with rose colored glasses on. Tell me the truth. So I'm, I tell people what I would want them to tell me. And apparently not everybody wants to hear that. <laughs> oh God. Oh um, Nanya, Mary Miles, you know you just opened my eyes also because there is someone I'm following that they are continuing the channel after their wife passed. Listen, I have a weird feeling that me and Nanya, I, I scrolled up, so I don't know if you guys have responded to what I asked. Um, I have a feeling me and Mary and Nanya are talking about the same channel. But like I said, uh, she requested that he carried it on. That was one of her last requests, if we're talking about the same channel. Um... She actually, one of her last requests was that she came over the B word with pride. Scarlet letter, baby. Um, yes, Kim is that. Yes, want to see, no want to know us. Um, <laughs> um, she, she, one of her last requests was that he carry on the channel because it was so important to her. So, that one I kind of understand because he's kind of carrying on. She did a lot with that channel and she had a lot of people really invested in that life. Not only her life, but her husband's life and their kids' lives and whatever. And I think what he's doing is he's really carrying on her legacy and honoring her last wishes. And he's doing it in a very respectful way. Yeah. I don't know why I'm not saying, I'm thinking of Jenny Apple. If you guys are thinking of the same one, the Apple family, um, because I know Jenny, that was one of Jenny's last wishes was that, she, that he carry on the channel so that people, people could, you know, cause, cause so many people had invested in her life and their, their journey together that she didn't want it to just drop when she died. Um, but um, yeah, she passed away in November, I believe. And he had to make that Listen, I can't imagine how hard that was for him knowing. Okay, so Mary, okay, you, we are thinking of the same one. Okay, that's what I was that's what I was kind of thinking. And um because she had requested that he carry on the channel, I can't imagine how hard that had to be for him. I felt so bad for him. He loses his wife, and one of the first things he has to do within the first couple of weeks is drop that bombshell to the to the to their whole community. And oh, uh, I watched that and I just, my heart broke in a million pieces for him because that had to be so hard for him. But at the same time, it was something that he had to do because he promised her that he would take care of that channel. Um, she wasn't, no, she wasn't a celebrity. She was just, she was diet. She's very young. I don't remember their ages, so I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to try to do that. But um, they were very young and they have two young children and she was diagnosed with cancer. And so she decided to vlog her, um, her journey with cancer and you know all the things that went along with it and she built a ginormous community and they were everybody got real real invested in their life and everything and then she passed away in november and one of the last things that she had requested was that her husband continue the channel in her absence and continue to celebrate her life and continue to celebrate life in general and um so yeah so that's that's why uh that's why that one I can get behind because that was one of her last wishes because she'd done so much. And I thought it was really, really cool of her to consider, you know, she's going through all this. And then one of her last wishes was please don't leave the community hanging because she'd worked so hard on this community and built up such a, such a loving relationship with her whole community. She's like, please don't leave them hanging. They don't, they don't deserve that. And I thought that was so cool. I thought that was very, very unselfish of her when at a time when she deserved to be nothing but selfish, but she wasn't but she wasn't. And so he honors her. He honors her by making sure that people know that him and the kids are okay. They do vlogging. He does live streams and he's documented his struggle with losing his wife. And, um, I think that's very commendable. So yeah, so that one I can kind of get behind. There are some out there though, that are like, Oh, my spouse passed away. Oh, uh, I'm going to capitalize on this. That's just awful. Yeah. No, I, I, that, those are, those are awful. I don't like those. Those are just, that's, capitalizing on the loss of somebody is awful yeah i don't know uh oh good you guys are talking about valentino let's go i was hoping you guys would 
Nunya, no, the one I'm talking about, she recently passed from dementia at a younger age. And they're just carrying on the channel because you know what? If that person had dementia, there's no way that they could make a sound decision about that channel and ask, no, what? Really? Really? Okay, that one, no. Because, you know, if that person has dementia, obviously they couldn't have given consent to carry on the channel after they're gone because they have dementia. So that's kind of, that's awful. I don't like that. I don't like that. That's just, that's not right. No, don't capitalize on that. That's sick. Holy crap. Have we really been on for an hour and 49 minutes? Oh, holy crap, you guys. <laughs> I told you, I told you guys before, this was just going to be a free for all. We were just going to have some fun. Yeah, I, I, we were just going to have some fun. We were just going to just chit chat and I was going to let you guys lead the way. And you guys are, you guys are awesome. Thanks guys. Thanks for having fun with me. I was just, I didn't know what I was going to do today besides cleaning. And I've done a majority of that because I did that video the other day and I've been, yeah, I've been working my butt off around the house. It's been so nice outside opening the windows and just doing some cleaning and just, I guess, oh, letting the air just kind of wash the winter stink out of the house. I just, I hate being closed up in the house all, all winter. If we ever have, if we ever have kids, I have no plan on showing my kids on my channel unless they're old enough to understand what it means and can consent. Okay. So you know what? And along that line, so my son, for those of you that are members and have gone back, my very first let's chat, um, live in members was, um, or members only feature was an interview with my son. I had to put, make that, that, that being a members only video was at his request because he's not a very public person. So he said, as long as it's only in members and it's not just a public video, I'll do it. I said, okay, so that's where it stays and that's where it will remain unless he ever tells me otherwise. Now, if you guys notice, when it was my son's birthday, I posted a picture of my son and said, happy birthday. You guys know that because I knew he, because he was okay with that. But if you guys noticed this morning, I posted a picture, but it wasn't of my daughter. It was actually of one of, it was actually a picture of the, the sloth because my daughter likes sloths. Um, and I had painted her that exact sloth, sloth picture at one point. And she's, I thought, I think she still has it, but if you notice, I didn't post a picture of my daughter and I never have because my daughter does not want her picture out in public eye like that. So I'm not putting her out there. So I totally get what you're saying. Come on, uh, Cammie. <sighs> See, I told you so whole life is the best. I know, but so listen, Y'all, y'all get crazy sometimes, and sometimes I need to be reeled in because otherwise, this is what happens. We're almost at two hours, you guys. <laughs> We're almost at two hours. I'll, get, I'll sit here all damn day. I will sit here with you guys all day long. As long as there's one person in here watching, I will sit here, and I need to be reeled in sometimes. So Jenna keeps, yeah, Jenna keeps us in in line. <laughs> she brings order to our chaos, guys. Uh, please get a P.O. box. I know. Okay, you guys, listen. You know what? I have to bring that to the post office box tomorrow, or the post office tomorrow, and send it to Jenna. So I will do my best to remember while I'm there. Get a post office box. Okay. I will. I will do my best to do that. Yes. How's that sound? Is that a deal? I'm just. I'm gonna do my best. I'm not making a promise though, because you know how my brain works. I'll get in there and get focused on just sending that to Jenna, walk out of there, get home and go, I forgot the post office box. Cause that's what happens. You know, I forgot how old I was for like two weeks. I did. I literally was convinced that I was turning 50 this year. And it literally for two weeks, I told people that I was turning 50, two weeks. And then I had to sit down and I literally had to math it out before I realized that I'm not turning 50 this year. I'm turning 49. That's how bad my memory is. So when I say I'll forget my name sometimes, I'm not kidding. I forget basic things. Toys and stuff, which they all donated. So that was crazy. Oh, that's so cool. Two hours, I'm loving it. Cam, that's, I'm so glad you guys are having fun with me. Next time, make up high heels, nice dress, and sell that vacuum. You need a sponsor. Shut up. I can sell something wearing a burlap sack. You shut up, Wanda. Actually, I'd probably be better with the high heels. I can do my Vanna impression, I suppose. <laughs> we are hanging out. I know. I love it. You guys are so much fun. Time flies when you're having fun. It does. It doesn't seem like it's been that long. I just looked at the timestamp and I'm like, it's really been that long. Okay, cool. Uh, Wanda says, I'll text you about the P.O. box. 
What are you talking about me? Oh yeah. Text. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. See, I didn't even know what she was talking about. I just got done saying I need to remember. She's offering to remind me and I didn't get it. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. So let's see. We've done the spin mop. We've gone over the rainbow. We'll save hello fresh. Oh, so this Friday we're doing a brunch stream. And it just so happens that um I actually got <laughs> I actually got um a breakfast meal from HelloFresh for this week. So on Friday, we're gonna we're gonna sample a HelloFresh breakfast. Yay! I thought that was cool. Because I mean I wasn't paying attention when the menu when when I made the menu that one of them was a breakfast and that it just so happens that this week is the brunch stream. I'm like, oh, all right, cool. Girl, I lost a whole year. I told people people for a whole year I was 53 and you weren't, huh? Yeah, see? I know that's what I mean. I forget my own age. For two weeks I was telling people that. Until one day somebody looks at me and goes, Really? Are you sure about that? I'm like, vegan or not not. I'm sorry, I can't do. Sorry. Listen, I'm doing my best, Canatude. I am. <laughs> I'm doing my best, babe. I'm doing my best. But it is the breakfast one. So, um, what is it? It's um, it's like everything bagel. It might. Be, I mean, it's not gonna be vegan, but I'm pretty sure it's at least vegetarian because it's just a. It's like a. I know Canatude wants to convert everyone. And listen, I'm not opposed. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this, Canatude. Okay. I am all for trying new things and I love the vegan meals that we've done so far. I, I love it. I really do. And I am so all about doing more of them in my life. I'm just going to tell you right now, I will never be vegan. It's just not going to happen. I'm just not. And it's not because I don't like animals. Obviously I do. It's because I love burgers. I love burgers. <laughs> I I know that you hate me for that. I know you do, and it's okay. You you can you can be mad at me for that. I'm fine with that. I'm okay. No, I was 54. Oh no. You all know that's so off. I'm so sorry. Oh God, here I was so happy when I realized I wasn't turning 50 and I was only turning 49. You had to go, oh damn it, I'm not 53, I'm 54. <laughs> Cam, Cam says in McDonald's chicken nuggets too. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Oh, Cam, let's listen. Don't poke the bear. Leave. Listen. You know we're just upsetting her. Catitude, I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know. I know. Like I said, I'm just, I'm never going to be completely vegan, but I do like, I do like the vegan meals. I do. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I am a huge fan and I'm so glad that, that I did it, but I just, I really love burgers, man. I love that stuff. I do. <laughs> Some animals are made to be eaten. Tell me what other purposes other than food does a pig serve? You know, I don't think, Ken, I don't think it's about, well, for some, for some people, it's probably about not wanting to eat little animals. I get it. But I think there's also the additional concept of the way things are done. Um, Because I'm not a fan either. I'm not, I'm not in agreement for the way thing, way things are done. No. New birthday tradition, you must eat as many McNuggets as your age. Nah, nah, man, I'm not going to sit down and eat 49 nuggets. And no, Emmanuel, I'm with you. I don't eat veal or lamb either. Nope, I won't eat those. I do it for the animals. I do it for the animals. Do we ever eat mean animals? Well, yeah. We eat alligators. Things like that, I think. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that, yeah, no, there's a lot of people that are vegan and stuff because it's it's about the treatment of the animals, and I get it. Because you know what? I, I think it's awful. I think it's awful the way that they have decided to start mass producing. It's horrible. It's not humane. It's not nice. It's horrible. And I, I, I agree 100%. There's, there's a lot of people that are vegan and stuff because they just will not contribute to that 
you know, that practice. And I, I commend them. I commend anybody that can be that disciplined about it. Hi, baby. I was making the utilitarian argument cows make milk other than meat. Chickens make eggs. And and when you're vegan, you don't eat any of that stuff. So, yeah. Catitude, it's not that you're outnumbered, honey. It's not. Listen, you, listen, take, put here, think of it this way. I commend you for being as disciplined as you are that you can actually do that because I can't. What is fake meat made of? Veggies, soy, and help me out, Catitude. Help me out. It's all, I mean, fake meat is made out of products that obviously are not, that don't come from animals. So we're talking like, you know, like veggie burgers. It's all made out of vegetable-based material, soy, things like that. So, and Joanne, yeah. So what does Joanne do? She can't have soy. She's, you know, she's allergic. Hi, figure boy. Hi, my little figure boy. Look at you. Oh, you want to show mama love? Come here, baby boy. Come here, my little lover boy. Hi, lover boy. Hi, my little Look at this little figure. Look at this little face. Look at this little figure face. He's got a little figure face, guys. Look at this cute little figure face. Yes, he's got a little gummy boy face. You got a gummy boy face? I know. Oh, you're hiding? He's hiding. He Oh, he's hiding. He's like, no, mom, don't show me. So there's the figure boy. Look at this little figure boy face. He's so cute. He's just adorable. He's so adorable. Look at that little bitty face. I just love this little figure boy face. Yes, I do. He's such a good boy. He looks like my cat, Ralph. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Catitude says hi. Catitude says hi, figure boy. Hi, figure boy. Should we sing your song? That's his little song, guys. Yeah. That's his little figure wolf song. Yeah. Oh, honey, are you being lover boy? Oh, are you being snuggly? He just tucked his head into my neck. He's like, I love you. Oh, I love you too. Oh, yes, I do. I love you so much. Mwah. Yeah, he's my baby boy. Come on. Come here, you go down. Jump down. Jump down, baby. Here. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's panicking now because he thinks I'm going to put him down. Okay, fix. I'm not going to put you down. Just start here. Hold on. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. I got you. I got you, Figaro. Wow, did you guys hear that? He, like, freaked out. <laughs> And you know what? Let me just tell you something. He is so soft. He is so soft and floofy and snuggly. He is almost like I mean, he. The only thing I can rem I, it reminds me of a chinchilla because he is so soft. He is so soft and snuggly, aren't you? Does you just need mama time? Is it time for mama to pay attention to kitties? Huh? All right, guys. I think it's time we get out of here. Yeah, I think it's time we get out of here. Kitties want kitties want attention. I need to get some food. I just realized I need lunch. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry, guys. Little figure, oh, you're so cute, baby boy. All right, guys. It's been two hours. You guys are phenomenal. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for all this time and just chit-chatting and having, having a good time. I've enjoyed it. He is drooling on my shoulder. I just realized he's drooling on my shoulder. Yeah, he says, enough's enough. You've been on the YouTube way too long. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for the great conversation. Thank you guys for, you know, sharing with me and all your support and all your love. I appreciate it. And, um, yeah. Oh, no, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday comes up and I don't have any live streams. I'm going to miss you guys this week. I'm going to miss you guys on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I'll see you guys on Thursday. Yeah, and we'll get we'll get you guys videos. Hopefully we'll have, um, we'll have the new cleaning video out tomorrow. So hopefully we'll see. Take care, everyone, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ha, <laughs>